What's going on, bros? Look, we gotta talk about sex real quick. That's right. Good old intercourse. And you know, I'm just gonna be straight up with you. I love to have sex. But I gotta be honest, I don't think that it is the best for me to be pursuing, to be doing, because there's consequence for that action. Not just getting a girl pregnant or catching the disease, something deeper than that. Um, if you're having sex and you're doing it to fill up this void within your life, this gap, well then you're gonna have all these cracks in your armor. And if you ever break up with a girl or a girl maybe shows you some behavior that is uh, her pulling away or she leaves, well then you're gonna be in here and you're gonna be suffering because you form this attachment with somebody. And so it's become so normal and everyone seems so hypersexualized and there are all these dating apps and everyone's just running around doing it. And if we do it with someone that we don't really know, what we end up doing is emotionally investing, bonding, releasing this oxytocin, thinking that we're in love, seeing this person in a new light that we, you know, we just forgive them. Uh, and maybe we don't need to be with them. And so we close a lot of doors and we waste a lot of time and we don't really think into the future. We're not far-sighted to be like, hey man, I don't know if I want to marry this girl. I, I don't know if I, I could see myself with her in a couple of years. And once you have sex, all that shit goes out of the window. Now it's just about that lust. You don't even care about the future. So you can't really see clearly, man. You're just going in blind. And it's got to be said because it's, I've done it. And I, I like, man, it's so hard, addicting and difficult to overcome. And the thing is, when you start waking up, when you start connecting to that source, to God, when you come back home to God and you realize, man, I'm abundant, dude. I don't need anything. You're just present. Life is peaceful. Life is good. You don't need all this material stuff. You don't need all these pleasures. Man, it's like you don't even need drugs. You don't need to overeat. You don't need to binge on sex. You don't need to binge on porn. You don't need to binge on, binge on anything. You're just like, man, life is good. I'm here. I'm present one day at a time. Life is peaceful, man. It's not supposed to be chaotic and stressful and ripping you apart. Okay, so... Now that I'm woken up or I'm waking up to the reality, I realize how much I've been deceiving myself and pursuing sex has been one of those things where I'm like, man, what am I doing? What am I doing? And now I'm like going in and I'm just like, dude, I don't even care to have sex anymore. My testosterone is high, all right? I feel horny. But you know what? It's not like I want to just get that horniness out. Now I, I feel horny. I like to feel horny. But it doesn't need that I need to release that horniness. So there's no there's no more void really to be filled. So now it's more of a, do I even need sex? And now that I see the consequences of sleeping with a woman, getting emotionally invested, not looking at the future, wasting time, getting with someone that that I'm not going to be with for long. It's like, well, you got to weigh the odds, Eli. You know, you got to got to be real. You got to be real, man. So it's a tough pill to swallow. And I know that, you know, everyone's kind of doing it, dude. It's just so normal. It's so normal. And when you can see it from that, you see like the people using Tinder and Bumble and whatnot, like there's a brokenness there. Our hypersexualized society, it's like that's the drug of choice. Everyone talking, don't do drugs. Don't do heroin or cocaine. It's like, man, sex is a real drug. You know, get that hit and you get emotions of all involved. You got this double whammy that comes to smack you across the face when it comes time to break up and you get anxious and you start worrying and you start becoming afraid and filled with anger. You just like spend time on the internet, you know, like getting off. And then what happens? Nothing. You know better. 
just just wasted time and energy and you know you stop being whole so it's it's worth considering and um instead of rushing in i think from here on out that i will look at sex as something that is uh, important to bonding i won't just rush in have sex on the first night when i first meet a girl i won't just invest I will maybe be okay with not doing it. I'll be okay with just, you know, I don't need that until I want to take it to that level. Yeah, I think that's, I've, I've kind of made up my mind. Um, so we'll see if I, you know, hold to that. But I, I know that it's my mistake if I decide to just rush in like that. All right, so let me know what you guys think. And I will talk to you guys soon. Peace.